Oh boy, that's really coming. Three, two, three. What is that, Jake? What is that, Jake? Enjoy the Swedish candies and keep up your good work, guys. Regards, Bjorn and Shella. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, oh my gosh. god. Candy for breakfast. Mm. Thank you, very good. Thank you, guys. Swedish dolls. Sweet dolls. It's a cool name. Sweet dolls. Swedish guy and a Filipino, I guess. See you later. See you. Regulator. See you later, regulator. Yo, creator hunter! Out the window! Okay. <laughs> no, just look out the window. <laughs> okay, okay. I literally can't get my head out the window. <laughs> okay, okay. Go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> this thing is like in the way. <laughs> for American. All right, it's 5.30 p.m. and we're gonna do a night dive. We're catching a ride with Alex. We got the equipment in the back. And we're going to a dive site very close to Pura Vida, just next door. Maybe I'll pop out the drone and show you the area, but search drive, night dive. It's been a long day of searching for land, new accommodation, and editing, but now it's, we're gonna relax a little bit and uh, Try to find some beautiful critters. Four legs still blows my mind. Thank you, Ruth. Look at that. Justin got the long selfie stick. Just watch out for the electricity line. <laughs> and the banana trees. <laughs> this cool air. I'm driving through a village. Oh boy, that tree coming. Tree. My own guppy! Tagai! He offered me a shot! <laughs> oh, watch out for the electricity light! Whoa, look at these trees! Oh, trees! Go get a tree! All right, I think we made it to the dive site. Maybe it was an old port before. Was this an old port before? Was this an old port before? Coast Guard one, yep. Nice. This is pure black. We are so close to Pure Vida where we're staying. You can actually see one of the uh, Nipa huts over there. Local peeps, swimming, cool it down. But I want to show you the sand here, it's even darker than at Pura Vida. I think I got a mosquito in my eye on the way or something. Ah. Still kind of brownish. Smoke with a uh, native uh, cigarette. Native cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that's Gary. He's worked in uh, Pura Vida before. When is the last time you were working there? Since the year 2000. Six months was in Colorado. First time you lose the job. Yeah, it's the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, there's a, there's a thing about these type of areas of the Philippines. I've noticed a lot in Mobile, Malapasqua, down of course. All the tour guides here, the local was uh, 90, 95% of them lost the jobs. And the thing is, once you start coming back to the resort, once you guys come back to diving, these are the guys that are gonna get their income back. But you know, he's just walking here at the beach, met up with us. So it's cool to hear their stories and that's why I wanna promote tourism because there's this uh, group of people in the country that you know, haven't had income for over a year now because of this COVID. So, I hope you guys get the uh, confidence to travel again and enjoy the beauty of the Philippines. Look at that sunset. Wow. Gorgeous. This oh, you don't I... show that. That's uh, rated PG. This is how I get the subscribers. Yeah, don't, that's rated <laughs> PG, guys. <laughs> 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 that's diving. <laughs>
That's diving. Hey, when you got your first hundred dives, did you dive naked? No, we didn't. Why not? You know. It's not allowed. <laughs> On a night dive, one of the first thing you're probably gonna see is a bunch of crabs and snails roaming around the bottom ocean floor. They come in all sizes and shapes, even really funny ones, like this guy. And once they see you, they might dig themselves in the sand. And out of nowhere, this huge crab popped out of the sand, kind of spooked us. And I don't know if you can see in the footage, but he was absolutely massive, close to the size of my arm. And after being spooked, he became kind of funny. How can you take this guy seriously, walking sideways? Enough of the funny stuff. One of the first cooler critters we spotted in this dive was this nudibranch. And as you can see in the footage, we were kind of shallow, so the waves were bouncing us up and down. So getting the shot was very difficult. What we have here is Aplysia parvula murk. I'll put the text of the scientific name of this uh, specific nudibranch, and it even has an Icelandic letter. See the O with two dots on above it, used in a couple of other languages. So for us to identify each and every single creature we see is going to be very difficult. I had to look up in my book to find this specific one. Aplysia parvula murk. <laughs> Most likely I'm not going to remember that name. The next one is the bobtail squid which Justin just finished filming. I love these guys, but he had already dug himself in. So we move on to the next one. Not quite sure what I'm filming in this shot, but here on the next clip, it's a big, big shrimp. Now I said we already finished with the funny critters, but how can you not giggle looking at this shrimp? It makes you wonder why he has all these legs, but his legs are not even touching the ground. He's only using a couple of his front feet. And the other legs, maybe they're just swimming, I guess. <laughs> My favorite find of this dive was definitely this frogfish. And I had to look them up as well in the books. I sent a couple of pictures of them to my friends and uh, they were trying to identify them. So the scientific name of this one is Oscillated Painted Frogfish. The first one for me. At first it was really hard to find the accurate one. But there are a few things on his body that indicate he's the Oscillated Painted Frogfish. Which is quite rare to find. But I really like this guy because the pinkish color the dots on him and kind of warty looking textures as well. Really cool find. And sometimes when people are diving and notice the frog fishes, they just sit in the same position for ages and don't do anything. So seeing them walking around, try to catch prey is a really awesome thing to witness. My bucket shot list with these frogfishes is to see them using their lure and try to catch a prey at the same time. That is difficult. I've yet to capture it on camera, but I've seen them do it. Like here, he puts his lure down and tries to attract a prey. But then again, he only did that once and moved on. And the main thing we always try to film underwater is to see the creatures hunting. That is one of our most sought after footage to capture, which you'll see in a second. Here's a juvenile longhorn cowfish, and 
not sure why it's called a cow. <laughs> Maybe it made a moose sound before. I don't know what scientist or marine biology named this guy. Well, that's his name, scientifically. I've seen these guys a few times before in Cebu. And the next one is the cockatoo wasp fish. I really like his shape because he almost looks like he has a mohawk and then he's crawling around the bottom but he's still a fish and he was in a treat tonight because with our lights it kept attracting all these shrimps. Now I don't think these shrimps are very smart and they get really easily attracted to the light. So the cockatoo wasp fish had probably the biggest buffet of his life. All the silly shrimps swimming in front of his mouth and snap he catches them. Thank me later, wasp fish. Also at night time, we noticed a lot more activity on the bottom regarding sea slugs or worms. This one in particular I really liked due to his colors and how he moves around the bottom. In my book, there's at least 4,000 of these guys. So trying to find the correct scientific name is really hard. Let me show you an example about all the shrimps when we had the light on. If we had a shopping bag with us, we probably could have uh, fed a whole village. That's a friendly neighborhood. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're trying to block here. Thank you. Don't you understand? <laughs> it's such a weird sight, huh? There's like nothing there but grass. And then we saw every species you could think of. You got the frogfish and I got the bobtail squids. Yeah. I'm happy with that. First time uh well, not the first time, but first time here in Darwin that I find a rockfish. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. I didn't even see that. Loads of crabs. That was hilarious. Yeah. So many cool things we saw on this dive. Oh, especially funny things. Like, a few times we were filming and uh, I felt bad having the light on because they were pretty much attacking everything we saw, so we kind of turned it off. Well, sometimes they ate what we... On the opposite there's so many, side. There's like a baby shrimp season and they're following our lights just in my hair, in my ears. <laughs> um, it was a nightmare, but sometimes we'd film a big fish like the frogfish or the mantis, and they were they loved it. They were just grabbing shrimp out of the air like a buffet. I want you guys to go check out Justin's channel. I'll link it down below in the description. Mm -hmm.